Hi, I'm Sheila Ray Gregoire, author of The Good Girl's Guide to Great Sex, with a reader question for you today. A reader writes, one of the things that was really enlightening to me when reading your book and your blog was how visually oriented men are. However, I have some major baggage in this area. My poor husband, I have never changed in front of him or walked around naked, and we never just hang out in bed naked. We've never showered together or bathed together. I have some body issues, cellulite, thunder thighs, horrible spider veins from my second pregnancy. But really, who doesn't? And I think that even if I had the body of a swimsuit model, I would still feel this way. I have no problem with him touching those areas, but it's usually with the lights off or under the covers. I was wondering if you have any suggestions, any baby steps to make me more comfortable. All right, that is a tough one. And But you are not alone. So many women are very self-conscious of our bodies. I mean, everybody has issues with their bodies, even supermodels. And so it's not like having a great body is going to change this. So it really is something that's inside you. You feel like there's something wrong with your body. In my 29 Days to Great Sex Challenge, I told people to name five things they liked about their body. And I think that was the challenge people had the most trouble with, is how do I find five things I like? But really go through that challenge. Find five things you like. And then tell your husband what those five things are. Um, but men do like to look and you're the only naked body he's allowed to look at so let him look and if that's difficult for you then let's try some of those baby steps that you suggested so what are baby steps um, if you, you're comfortable with him touching you so why not do that with some candlelight you know start with a little bit of candlelight uh, get some lingerie sometimes we have problems you know, being completely naked, but we can do the lingerie thing. So get like a pretty nightgown or a pretty teddy or something like that that makes you feel um, very feminine. And then, you know, she said that she'd never showered or bathed with him. That's a really good place to start, you know. Um, I mean, because it, it first of all, it's relaxing because you've got the hot water. <laughs> um, and he's naked too, so it's not like he's just looking at you. You're at least looking at each other. <laughs> Uh, but that can be something which can be relaxing. And if you're in a bath, if he's in the bath first, and then you get in the bath and you're kind of spooning, then you don't actually have to look at him. So you don't, you don't see him watching you. So if you lean back against him naked, you can't see him. And so um, that can sometimes help. That can be a way of bringing it in slowly. And if you start feeling nervous, if, you start, if your heart starts to race, that's okay. Just tell him. And maybe he can start to, to reassure you. You know, he can stroke your arm. He can give you a bit of a neck massage. Whatever it might be that you need to have happen. But if you get him on your side, and if you tell him, this is something that I want to do for us, and if you're very open with him about what you're going to need, it's more likely that he'll be able to help you on this process.